Well, if you live in Sheffield, it's usual to know the experience of uh, walking through the snow. Now, we usually find that when it's reasonably gentle snow in the city centre, it's really thick snow up at the top of the hills. Well, I'm going to take a walk from the city centre up to the higher ground, further towards the outskirts of the city, and just see what it's like. I'm just leaving here, which is just near the pocket park, near our office. Well, it's 20 past 11 and I'm on West Street. You can see here behind me that the snow is starting to stick in the city centre. So let's move along. Well, it's now half past 11 and I've just passed the Ring Road where it joins um, West Street and Lottup Road. And you'll see that the snow is already getting, uh, getting thicker as we get further out of the town centre. Um, so let's carry on along uh, Blossop Road. Well you can see here the buses are still making it, there goes uh, 51 uh, just joining the main road on Blossop Road. Well I'm continuing along Blossop Road and I'm now just close to Doctor's Orders pub. Now it doesn't seem as though I've come much distance in terms of any height, but you can already see the difference in the snow. There's snow on the road now, and you can feel the snow beneath your feet. It's got that sort of crunchy feeling underneath as you, uh, as you take your steps already. So already you can tell the difference between the city centre and further out. Okay, it's 20 to 12. As you'll see, it's still snowing. And uh, you can certainly see here, just outside the Hallamshire Hospital, that uh, there's a lot of evidence of that snow now. You can see you can see a lot of the snow, um, although they've done a good job on the main uh, on the main footway here. It's all been gritted. Just uh, just have a look behind me. You can see that's pretty clear around there, and uh, you also see a lot of traffic queuing behind me along there. Okay, well we're at Broom Hill now and it's just gone 10 to 12 and you can see so there is now quite a considerable amount of float snow. You can really see the difference now in the amount that's on the ground. It's probably nearly an inch, I would say, at a guess, which is not by any means the worst thing that you'll get in Sheffield, but it's a, it's, a, it's a massive increase from what we were seeing on West Street earlier. And also uh, at the junction here with Glossop Road, I've heard uh, the sound of wheels spinning as they failed to get a grip um, for the first time. So we're going to continue and I think we're going to take the steeper option and head up towards Crosspool from here. See you later. Bye. Could you tell me what you're doing here today in Broomhill? Yeah, I'm just uh, digging out the snow for, to make it easier for our patients to come in and out of the surgery without falling. Um, as you can see, it's already difficult trying to get through to Sheffield, but people do need to still see the GP. Um, so we're just making it easier in and out of the entrance of the surgery. And how have you found the snow today? A uh, bit difficult uh, trying to get to work. We don't know how we're going to get home to work uh, from work. Um, but yeah, it'll not stop us, hopefully. We'll carry on. <laughs> okay, so we're on Manchester Road now, just a little bit up from Broomhill. And just let me tell you the time. It's nearly five past twelve. Now, you'll see behind me there's a car that's not moving anywhere. Behind him, I've just helped push um, a, a car that was clearly struggling with the snow and was struggling to get up the road. The driver, I think, has now pulled to the side of the road and possibly has uh, has given up trying to get further up the road. So we are now beginning to see um, big problems with the traffic and we're not even in the highest, very highest points of the city yet. Tell me about what your experience in the snow today, please. Uh, well, I've set off back early from work to work from home this afternoon. I've got as far as here and the road's just too bad. And my, this is, I've had to abandon my vehicle further this is down. Manchester Road? Manchester Road, yeah, towards Crosspool. Is it as bad as you were expecting or is it worse than you expected? Uh, it's got it's got a bit worse than I was expecting. I would have set off an hour earlier if I'd known. 
you tell me what your plans are in the snow here today? Well, school's been closed early. Which school's that? Uh, Tapton. Um, I'm a builder and I've been stuck on a house in Crossbull, so my van's left there. And we're travelling to the other side of Sheffield and then we're just going to go sledging all afternoon. Well, having got to Crosspool, it turned out that there was a bus stuck at the top of, I think it's, it's Selborne Road, and there was a group of school kids, presumably from Tapton or King Edwards, trying to give him a shove to, uh, to help him uh, get up to the end. Finally, he managed to get up to the top of Selborne Road and turn right. I don't think he's likely to be going any further, but uh, I don't know what the bus companies have said in terms of any updates. Okay, so the time is now, bear with me one moment, it's 20 past 12, so I've walked up from West Street in town to Crosspool, and you can see behind me, the traffic along Manchester Road is absolutely solid. Um, it's, it appears to be pretty chaotic on the roads here right now, and I think this goes to show what a difference there is between the small smattering of snow that we've got in the city centre at the moment and the disruption that we've got out in the uh, uh, higher parts of Sheffield. Between getting to Broom Hill and reaching Crosspool, that short period of, uh, of journey has been the section of the journey where all the issues have been. That's the journey where we've seen people having to grit that's the section where we've seen people having to get out and push cars, where we've seen people having to abandon cars. And you can see also behind me, the traffic here uh, on the middle of uh, a weekday is pretty, pretty heavy. So I'm gonna stop here and head off back to our office because I've got to get home as well. But I think, I certainly hope that you've, uh, uh, enjoyed having a look at the journey through Sheffield on a heavy snow day.